All right, I just thought I would uh, make a quick video. We are in the middle of a blizzard here. Uh, the snow is going absolutely crazy. I think we're supposed to get something like 60 centimeters. I tried to make it to work today, but there were so many uh, cars broken down in the middle of the road and everybody was stuck. I just turned around and headed back home and we're pretty much not going to be working today. I don't think anybody will. So I figured I could uh, just make a quick video, we haven't uh, done a video in a while, about my cuttings. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to let you know. Uh, there's actually three boxes of cuttings here. I got this one, which I started first. And it is the least developed of the three. And then I started this one second, and it's more developed. And then I started this one third, and it is the most developed, okay? So why did the third one uh, get more developed than this one here that I started first? And uh, one reason and one reason alone, because they're all sitting on heat pads and they're all right beside each other, okay? But the reason is, is the planting medium here was less wet or less moist than the other two, okay? And I, I, I kind of did this as a little bit of an experiment. They're all relatively, like not too moist, otherwise you're gonna lose your cuttings uh, because they'll rot. But this one is the most uh, moist. I don't know if you can tell on the camera with the bags how much more they're sweating, okay? Um, now the thing is, you know, even though this was less moist, they're still coming through. They're just they're just a little bit behind, okay? So you will still get, and the truth is, is this way you're safer because your cuttings are not gonna rot by being exposed to too much moisture. So they'll be safe. They're gonna take longer, but here they are. They're all, they're all coming along, okay? Uh, let me see here. Take a, take a I-258. See if I could see some roots. I don't see roots yet. Uh, they might be behind the label. I see something, but but eventually, eventually, all these guys. Oh, here, here's a Smith. You see the root right under the H. You could see it kind of coming down. Okay. So eventually, all these are going to to root. Uh, but this one is in the least amount of danger of rotting and. And this one is in the most amount of danger of rotting. So I made sure that uh, a lot of my, my valuable, more valuable cuttings, uh, like I-258 and Black Madeira, are in this box where I didn't, I didn't uh, increase the soil's wetness too much. And some of my cheaper uh, kind of cuttings, uh, you know, like Italian honey and... Hardy Chicago and that are here where, you know, I kind of chanced it. And I know that uh, some of them are even a little bit more resilient, okay? So I just uh, just basically wanted to, to share that with you. Um, we can take a look at uh, some of these varieties here. Uh, this one here is actually a, a good variety. It's a Sultane, okay? Um, And, uh, oh yeah, I'll show you this too. I got a, uh, it's like an unknown, apparently it's a Greek cutting. I got it from somebody and uh, I wanted to root it too. And you could see the size of this thing, okay? It's nothing like any regular cutting. So I, uh, I still wanted to use my same kind of method with the bag, but it was obviously too big to fit in a bag. So what I did is I took a pot, I put the wet planting medium in it, and uh, then I, you know, put the cutting in with the standard uh, procedure of how I uh, cut down the bottom and uh, all that kind of stuff. And then I wrapped it in parafilm just the same. And to simulate the bag effect, I kind of wrapped a plastic bag. And I know it's not perfect because it still lets out 
a little bit of uh, but you could see you could see the condensation here in the bag so you can tell it is a nice humid environment down there and the parafilm at the top keeps it from drying out and if you look here I don't know if you could see that but I do have some green so it is starting to to come through okay and I do have it sitting on a heat pad just like these cuttings as well although I just moved it now for the video so I hope you're all doing well and uh, staying safe out there and I can't wait for the for the spring to come around to get all my trees out and start with the figs so uh, you all take care here's uh give you an update here on this one this was an air layer that i uh, i started uh, in late summer so it didn't make it it didn't get any much roots so what i did is i uh, pretty much after i put all the trees away when i started my cuttings actually just before i cut it off and i put it in a pot and uh, sure enough it came out because you know kind of the uh the whole air layering thing kind of already got it uh, got it started there was probably like very small roots already kind of sticking out now i'll show you a, a little bit of uh, a video I, I did for experimental purposes right after it was uh, it was rooting i did dig it up just to see the, the roots and I'll, I'll put that uh, right after this in the video so you can have a look at it uh, this is a ronde de bordeaux okay here's another uh, here's another ronde de bordeaux as well that uh, same thing it was an air layer and uh, I cut it off and uh, there's the roots I think I got it definitely too wet in there but uh, it should be okay all right have a look at uh, the roots when I dug this thing up and uh, we'll see you soon what's happening below I've never done anything like this so <laughs> look at that you got major roots down there <laughs>